Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today on Habitat Hints, we're going to be talking about an invasive species called autumn olive, something that is not talked about a lot. Um, I actually learned about it today, and I'm very grateful to be joined by Corey Gregg. Corey Gregg is going to tell us a little bit about why this is an invasive species and why and how you can get rid of it if you have this on your property. Uh, let me turn this around and we'll talk about this invasive species. All right, Corey, so we're going to talk about the invasive autumn olive. So tell us about this shrub and exactly, I, actually I don't know anything about it, just tell me what it is and I'm, I'm sure people on uh, all around the state want to know this. Yeah. So why is it invasive to Missouri? Uh, it's, I think it's an invasive throughout the United States. Uh, it came from Asia and uh, probably brought in for ornamental purposes, possibly habitat purposes. And uh, it's got little red berries on it and birds like to eat those little red berries and then they distribute the seed. And uh, it, it, it can grow in a lot of different environments, which is part of the way uh, it's become invasive. And it, it definitely, you can see the size of it. Uh, for sure. It can take up a lot of sunlight and shade out a lot of the natives underneath it. So it just gets a, uh, I guess, a edge on, on the competitors. So but it is very similar to uh, bush honeysuckle, right? With the seed, uh, not the seed, but with the berry, right? Yeah. So when similar. It's, it's very, sp it's spread a lot like that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yep. It's, it's a little bit different. Uh, it, it can grow in the forest uh, underneath the canopy, but usually it's not too aggressive under the canopy where bush honeysuckle can be very aggressive in the canopy. Um, so uh, we've got that going for us, but it's kind of a field edge or old field invader and it'll just uh, grow like gangbusters there. And it's got unique leaves. I mean, can yeah. you show us kind of what we're talking about yeah, here? Yeah, so one of the th distinguishing features is the bottom of the leaf you're looking at here has uh, kind of a silver sheen to it versus the top of the leaf is more dull. Uh, in the summertime, it's December right now, so you can see the leaves are uh, starting to turn yellow and fall off. But usually it's kind of a darker green on top, but that bottom side, it just keeps that silver look and you can see it from a distance, especially on a windy day like today. Yeah, It's really easy to, to see from a distance. And so um, that's one way that you can kind of determine that it's autumn olive versus anything else. There's not really anything that looks like it. How do you go by eliminating or getting rid of this uh, invasive species off property? Yeah, it's a good question. It's kind of multifold uh, depending on the size of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can take a chainsaw and, and cut it down and treat it with herbicide, uh, just a cut stump herbicide. You could go out at that route. Uh, this time of year in the winter, you can use a basal bark application, so a cross of either basal oil and herbicide, or a lot of times people use a diesel herbicide mixture, and basically just spray the bottom 12 to 15 inches all the way around. And what that diesel or, or uh, basal oil does is allow that chemical to soak through that thin bark and get to the live tissue to take it down and kill the root system. So. Right now, that's kind of the best way to go about it. Uh, with smaller plants like this one right here, yeah, uh, we're gonna foliar spray that. It just doesn't make much sense to cut that and, and put just a little dab of, of chemical on those little stumps. So when they're small like this, up to about head high, uh, we're gonna use herbicide, uh, or sorry, we're gonna use um, a foliar spray okay. to, to kill these smaller shrubs. And a lot of times you'll see a lot of these smaller shrubs underneath these larger ones that are growing. And, and, and as you were saying though, they spread. I mean, this yeah. isn't, that's why it's a big concern here mm -hmm. in Missouri and I'm, per, I'm pretty sure like you said elsewhere around the United States. Yeah. It's not just staying here, it, it jumps around yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. That's why this invasive species needs to be removed off your property because it's taking out all the nutrients and chances for those natives to thrive. Yeah, yeah, and there's less habitat quality with these than what we, that our natives can provide. Um, and with any of these invasive species that we deal with, uh, persistence is key. Mm -hmm. So coming and, and killing at one time, you're gonna need to come back. That's not gonna work. You're gonna have to come back probably for two or three years following to make sure that you've got all these little seedlings and stuff. 
um, mopped up and, and done. Where can you learn more about, you know, invasive species and how you can uh, eliminate uh, shrubs and plants and so, so forth? Yeah, there's a lot of sources online. Uh, universities have a lot of good, good information, uh, but we also have an invasive species page on MDC, and we cover a whole lot of the most common invasive species that we have in Missouri. Lots of good information about you know, where that species came from, uh, kind of how it grows, but most importantly, different techniques to get rid of that. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks very much, Corey. I'm going to echo what he said. Check out our website at mdc.mo.gov to learn more about how you can get rid of invasive species um, such as this autumn olive and, and learn more all, all you can about this. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.